been a massive uh, weekend, of course, it's just passed Amir Khan losing his titles to Lamont Peterson. But that's not the end of the British and certainly English appearance in the States. Look forward to some massive fights that's coming up this weekend, like I say. Joining us now from Matchroom Sports, Frock, uh, sorry, the, I have to say the uh, Carl Frock and Kelbrook promoter, Eddie Hearn, joins us on the line now. Good evening, Eddie. How are you, Jason? All right, mate? Yeah, ver very well indeed. Um, I've, I've seen the, uh, the build-up to it. I've seen the press conference. Carl Frock looks good. I've, I've been watching everything for the, the Super 6 final. How's he going into this? Eddie, he, he looks fit, he looks sharp, but it's going to be a tough fight against Ward. Yeah, very tough fight, you know, and, and when you're fighting the best in any division, they're always going to be tough fights. I think, you know, what he's come through over the last sort of five or six fights of his career, he continually fights the very best in the division most of the time away from home, so it's nothing different for him. Um, you know, this is a fight to become the, the greatest super middleweight in the in the world, and not often in sport or in boxing do you get a chance to have those kind of fights. So he's buzzing mentally and physically; he's in a great place. But you know, everyone's going to say the same thing this uh, this stage. You know, our camp, their camp, everyone's at a great camp. Everyone's in the form of their yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, everyone's yeah. prepared the best of their ability. <laughs> so you know, you get to a stage where the, the talking's almost over, and um, he's just he's just ready to go in there and, and explode right now. He's you know, the, the feedback he's had from the UK fans, we've done a big deal with Sky, he's their number one fighter, he's the number one fighter in Britain. So he sort of feels as he's getting the, the respect he deserves now. And I think that's spurred him on to, to go forward. And, and once he wins this fight, he really is, you know, one of our greatest fighters ever. Um, just tell us how this Super 6 has come about. It, this has been going on quite some time, Eddie, hasn't it, this? Yeah, just over two years, yeah. the best six the best six super middleweights in the world for each other. There's been a couple of withdrawals along the way, yes, as yeah. you'd expect in any tournament like that. Basically, it's, it's been a breath of fresh air for boxing because it's taken away the policy involved with certain promoters and it's brought the very best in a division together to fight each other, which is something that's very rare these days in boxing. It's a shame, um, but, you know, it's happened. I'd like to see more in different divisions, but the last two men standing are Carl Froch and Andre Ward. You know, uh, Ward has the WBA world title, Froch has the WBC title, so they're fighting for two belts and the Super 6 trophy as well. So, massive fight, really, and it's probably the biggest that an Englishman's been involved with for a while. So, there's a real buzz out here. We're just checking into the hotel now in Atlantic City so you know and we want to thank the British fans for, for all the support and the good wishes because like I say it's, it's really spurring him on Carl is uh, you know confident confident lad um, ne never backward in coming forward he's, he's accused Andre this week of being a very dirty fighter yeah, I think if you watch his last fights with Kester, he does tend to lead with his head and, you know, he likes to grab and hold. And I think the plan from Ward will be to do that, to try and win the rounds and, and win a shutout points victory. Um, listen, I mean, like Carl says, if he wants to use his head, then I'm sure Carl will oblige and, and do the same. But I don't think we really want that kind of fight. We want a proper fight. Um, Carl, Carl likes to tear up, but he likes to box as well. He, he's got a great jab. He throws punches from awkward angles. But I just think it's an intriguing fight. I think he, in boxing, like in sport, it's like, you know, you know, in a football match, you want to turn on the telly and not really know who's going to win the game. Mm. And that's what makes you excited as a viewer. And that's what you've got here on Saturday night, whether you think that Froch is going to win or you think that Ward's going to win. Really, you're not that sure. So you turn on and you're fascinated by you know, the potential of what might happen. And I think you need more fights like that, 50-50 fights or pick em fights as they call them, mm. to keep people interested. And you know, when the two best in division or any sport meet, it, it always brings a huge audience with it. And it's going to be a fascinating night. Eddie, there's no doubt about it. Frock is the more experienced of the two fighters. But with that comes his age. There is a, a bit of an age gap. Is that going to be anything that Frock should, ro should worry about? And will Ward go into it perhaps using that as an advantage? No, I don't think so. I think, you know, in boxing, particularly as you move up the weights, I think, you know, your early 30s is, is, is perhaps your prime. And I think Carl's in the prime of his life. He's, he's still had less than 30 fights. Um, he, he started late as a pro, so not really. I, I think, um, you know, he's in the peak condition. I think both fighters are, to be honest with you. And that's why it's so fascinating, because I really think both fighters are, are, are ready to battle. And I think... They both know, although it got a little bit niggly at the press conference today, <laughs> I think they both respect each other and they both know they've got to perform beyond their capabilities to win this fight. And that counts for both fighters. So if Andre Wolf wants to win this fight, he's got to fight better than he's ever fought before, in my opinion. And the same for Carl Froch. And I think Carl's ready to do that. So support in uh, the Froch fight. Um, we got another Brick, um, Kel Brook, one of yours, and he is 
on the rise, isn't he? He's been around for a while, but he's still only 25. And he's got, you know, the likes of Mayweather and Pacquiao in his, in his sights, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, he's in probably the, the, the toughest division of them all, the 147-pound welterweight division. You look at two champions in that division, of course, Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, Andre Berto, the other IBF champ that's about to cross that belt, and Senchenko, the WBA champ. Really tough, tough division. Um, Kel, this is Kel's third fight with us. Um, you know, when we took him over, we wasn't necessarily happy with the, the opponents he'd fought in the past. We wanted to make him a big star in his home which we've done. He fought Love Morandu, who was a top 20 in the world fighter. Then he fought Rafael Jacob, who was a top 10 in many of the, the organisations, never been stopped. And he dealt with both fighters very, very easily. Um, on Saturday night, he fights a, a Puerto Rican called Luis Galaza. Um, tricky opponent, shouldn't cause Kel too many problems, but the pressure on Kel is to go out and look devastated. You know, this is a guy who he should be beaten in devastating fashion, so he's under pressure to do so. For me, really, it was a, a case of bringing him out here, getting him used to the experience of the big fights out in America, because in time, we may have to come out here we're only talking to a couple of opportunities at the moment, but we might have to come out here to fight for the world title. And when he does, I don't want him to be shell-shocked by the atmosphere and experience. So that's getting under the belt. And obviously, you know, there was a lot of talk last week about the Battle of Britain between Kelbrook and Amir Khan, but mm. that looks less appealing now. And, um, Ooh, you know, we'll have to see what happens. Lenny, let me ask you about it. We mentioned uh, Mayweather and Pacquiao. I mean, that's the fight, I suppose, the whole of the, the, the globe would love to see at some stage. But is Lamont Peterson a little bit closer on Kelbrook's race? Radar now than Amir Khan? Well, Lamont Peterson's a £150 operator. He's like welterweight. Kel's very comfortable at welterweight. So I don't think that's really a fight. Um, I expect, and I don't know if they uh, contracted it. They, they certainly should have done, but they most likely they had a rematch option within their contract, Amir Khan with Lamont Peterson. I know that hasn't been confirmed yet, but I'd be shocked if they didn't. Um, so I expect to see that rematch go on now. But I think, obviously, Amir Khan, who is a great fighter and has a lot to learn, I'm sure he'll come back strong. But his stock value has plummeted after that fight. So, you know, um, the Kelbrook fight, Amir Khan fight, is certainly a fight that I think will happen at some point in the future. But I'd like to go out and get a world title first. And, and maybe, uh, once we get that world title, we can give Amir a chance to redeem himself and try and win that back. Listen, Eddie, really appreciate you coming on TalkSport this evening. Good luck to both your boys. I'll be watching. I'm pretty sure the rest of the nation will as well. Thanks very much and wish the boys good luck. Thanks, Jase. We'll do. Cheers. Cheers. Eddie Hearn there. Um promoter, of course, for Frock and Brook. Some, uh, some massive fights coming up. And, and you know, you look at uh, boxing. I mean, I love my boxing. I'm not a massive fan, Sam, but I do love my but boxing. But you love it. I just love yeah. it. I watch them. I take the Amir Khan fight. I couldn't watch it. It was too late. Whenever I see a British fighter or an English fighter going into the yeah. ring, certainly in the States, uh, looking forward to that. And uh, It's a good... It's, it's a, I wouldn't say it's a golden era, but we're getting back to those glory days where there's a few big characters, good British fighters on the scene. Absolutely.